Um, look, here, here's the deal, guys. Uh, th there's a lot that I can't say right now. I wish I could come in here and tell you guys exactly what's going on and tell you exactly what the future is probably going to look like. But unfortunately, right now, I can't. And um, you, guys know, you guys know one thing about me. Uh, you know I'm a fighter. And um, this is, uh, this is, this is going to be far from over. There are going to be a lot of things that are going to happen in the, in the coming days. And, um, you know, all I can tell you guys is, you know, stick with me. You guys are here because of me. Um, obviously, the company is going to make zero dollars without me. All of our major sponsors have already pulled out. So they don't really have a choice here. Um, they, they, they don't really have a choice. They, uh, they, they think that they've renegotiated with some of our sponsors, and uh, that's not what they're telling me on the backside. So, um, you know, the, the fact is, is that in the end, this is all going to be okay, and we're going to use this for good. And like Cassie said, um, this is this is going to end up being bullish. This is going to end up being very bullish for the project. Um, I'm going to end up with a ton of PR after this is over, and it's probably going to be, you know, mostly positive. And, you know, it, I, I just want to say one thing is that I have gotten so many messages from people, so many calls. So I can't answer them all. I can't respond to all of them. But just know that I've seen all of them, and I appreciate the Bit Squad. I appreciate my my. My friends, um, I've got a lot of friends out there. I know I see that now. A lot of friends and uh, a lot of people that over this to become enemies. And, um, you know, that's going to be what it's going to be. But I promise, guys, just, just stick with me here. And uh, I appreciate all the support. And that's probably about all I can say for now. But just know I'm here and um, I haven't haven't gone anywhere. I'm, I'm laying low. Um, and, and that's that's the, the way I've got to got to play right now. So um, there there has been a marked trail of deceit um for a very long time and i'm just starting to uncover more and more and more of it um and i'll get into all that uh when when it's time but this has been a plan that's been launched in action for minimum of months it looked like more like years um when you look at the track record of some of the stuff that's been done um i was removed from all the trademarks i was removed from the building i've been removed from a lot of stuff without them telling me and that's been going on for years that's not months that's years um, so this is this has been a plan that's been launched, and um, you know what? I say good luck to them. I, at the end of the day, um, if I'm not able to get my company back, I start over tomorrow from square one, and I outgrow them in two months. It won't even be a question. Um, so it is it is a very bloody battle right now. It, it is it is absolute war. So I uh, just want to say I appreciate you guys, and uh, that's all I got to say right now. Yeah, and I, I would like to just, just say one one more thing here, real quick. I see some people in the uh, comments talking about addressing allegations. Guys, I have not relapsed. I have not relapsed. That is a that is a lie. Here, here is what they've done. Um, Justin Williams and TJ have cooked up this plot because I take diet pills. I take phenamine. Anybody can look this up. Everybody knows. My wife knows. Cassie knows. Everybody knows. Phenamine is a is a weight loss pill that you take. Um, there's a weight clinic that's, that's one, been part of how I've been able to take all this weight off and keep it off. And they've been, they've been bringing this up as an issue to me. And now they've gone so far as to say that taking, you know, it's not over the counter selling prescription, but taking this phenamine and they've tried to, they tried to trap me several times in the last couple of weeks and be like, are you taking something else? And be like, no, it's diet pills. I act a little erratic. You guys, if you've ever seen erratic behavior on my channel, it's because I've been taking those diet pills and everybody knows that it. it's not a secret. And that's what they're trying to put out there. They're trying to put out there that I've relapsed. And they've been they've been accusing uh, me of, of doing cocaine and all kinds of stuff. And it's just factually incorrect. There is no – you guys have seen me on the channel. You guys have seen – there might be a couple days here or there where, you know, I, I have been probably sleep deprived from taking the phenamine. Um, I have a prescription for it. And that's what this all boils down to. And, and Justin Williams, Justin Williams, this is why they're not telling you guys what's going on. They're not telling you what's going on. Because they're lying. Because in, in not saying – let me tell you something about TJ. TJ, part of his whole entire thing is let's do loose contracts so we can get out of them at the end. Everything he set up in this entire business is about eventually him trying to, to take things from me. And they, they love the unknown. They love to live in the unknown. And they love to live in um, where they don't have to answer for themselves. So when they're throwing stuff out there and they're saying I'm relapsed, go press them on it. Go press them. What did he relapse on? They're going to say they're going to say diet pills because they don't have anything else. And let me tell you, these these false accusations, allegations that they are making, they are very intense. And there is going to be hell to pay because there has not been one time I've been confronted on any of this. 
Not one time I've been asked to take a drug test. Not one time have I told them that I've been using anything because I haven't. So these allegations are 100% false. They're using this to get me out of my own company. Guys, look at the track record. They literally removed me from the building uh, like two years ago when we bought our building because I, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have the best credit. I don't have incredible credit because before, I, when I was poor, I made some bad decisions where I didn't pay some stuff off and then I got a lot of money and I didn't care. I didn't care. Why would I care to fix the credit? I've tried paying stuff off and every time I pay stuff off, it would hurt my credit. So, so they removed me. With, they were supposed to put me back, right back on. I don't think they ever put me back on. Then we found out our trademarks, our trademarks for BitBoy Crypto, guess what? Two years ago, two years ago, TJ started these trademarks. And do you guys know who's the only person who's, whose name is on that document of all our trademarks for BitBoy Crypto? That's right, it's TJ. So you guys are going to find out. And, and this is going to get really dirty. And this is going to be a bit, this is war, guys. You need to understand, this is war. This is going to get extremely dirty before it gets better. But just know, um, if, if there's things that they say, that are true, then I will say they're true. If there are things that are not true, I'm going to completely tell you they're false allegations. Um, they're, they're talking about, they told the employees, they told the employees that uh, I, I, because of physical violence towards, um, uh, towards uh, employees, no, no, I threatened to beat the crap out of TJ when I found out he was trying to take everything from me. That's what happened. I threatened him and I did threaten him because He's, he was talking about taking my entire company. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to strip every single thing from me. And then he used that to continue on with his plan. This has been going on for months and months and months and months. This is not, and there are several other people that are involved in it. Uh, Justin Williams, but the, the head of the snake is Justin Williams. I'll tell you guys that. Anybody that supports Boomio going forward, you, you can forget it. That thing's going to be done on arrival, no question about it. That's not, that, that thing's never going to take off. And that was a big mistake that I made making him the CEO of that company. Because technically, I can't fire him. <laughs> so, good job, Justin. You, you, you got it. At the end of the day, though, the truth is on my side, and um, we are we are going to, uh, you know, this is this is going somewhere, guys. This is not this is not going to be something that uh, you know I'm going to take sitting on my hands. So, you guys have to understand that um, these allegations of me relapsing, especially with them putting it out on social media, that's defamation. That's defamation, a hundred percent. So, um, it it won't be too long before those chickens come to roost. And um, I'm able to prove a lot of that stuff. Um, and it, it, is, it is what it is. Another thing is, you know, his, TJ's dad is our CFO. His dad is a snake, I'll tell you that. His dad is a snake as well. His dad has <laughs> – uh, there's all kinds of stuff him and TJ have been cooking up. And it's, it's unbelievable. Um, and they, <laughs> they think I don't know about what they've been doing. And I know. I know for sure. And so when, think about this. When your business partner who tries to steal your company from you, when his dad – is the CFO, think about all the implications of that. Think about that conflict of interest. When I hired him, because TJ, when TJ hired him, he's not even a CPA. He doesn't even have any financial experience at all. He worked at Wellstar working on machines. This guy knew not. It was his dad, and I trusted TJ. I trusted TJ so much, and I let him bring him in. And, you know, he said he'll do a good job. And guess what, guys? Two years later, our taxes for 2021 still aren't done. I've been on them so much about it. It's because they're going to try to freaking bl they're, they're they're trying to work out some kind of plan where they can save themselves. That's what's going on. The, the CFO does not even have our taxes done for 2021. So th think about this, guys. The the level of incompetence and the people underneath me is ridiculous. And when I call them out on the incompetence, I'm the villain. I'm a bad guy. I'm I'm the villain because. Uh, you know, his dad, I would ask him to do something, he wouldn't do it, and I would get on to him for it. I'm the villain for that, even though it's my company. These people forgot whose company this is. They think they have anything to do with it, and they don't. Guys, look at Hit Network. Look at Hit Network. What is Hit Network? It's a bunch of garbage. That's what it is. It's Frank. Frank does a good job. Good job, Frank. I'm not sure where Frank's loyalty lies yet, but he hasn't texted me or talked to me, so I think I know. There's only been five people from my company that have contacted me. Five. Five out of 40. Five people that are loyal. That's it. And all five of those people, they're still going to have jobs. The rest of them, they better buckle up. And if there, if there is anybody that's in my employee that's listening, and they want to they cross the line and show you who's loyal, who they're loyal to, then they can do that. But the fact is, is that Frankie's channel is the only one that produces any income. Around the blockchain, 
That's my fucking show. <laughs> I created it <laughs> and, and I incubated on my channel. That's the only reason it's successful, right? That, that's literally all they have. We don't have another sponsor for another, another channel that's on Hidden Network. And I can tell you guys that Hidden Network is dead. Hidden Network is going to be dead going forward. I'm gonna, all of those shows are going to be gone, 100%. I can't, I, the, the fact that all of these people have turned their back on me like this and stabbed me in the back like Julius Caesar on the Ides of March, it's literally disgusting. And if they think I'm going to take this sitting down, hey, bring it all out. Let's bring it all out of the closet. Let's do it because I'm ready. So there we go. You guys don't have to worry about any kind of, of uh, relapse. That's false. They're, I'm going to be going after them for defamation for that. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be all out war. All I can tell you guys is buckle up. I don't know if it's going to be good for the price in the short term, but overall, I'm going to take back control of everything. And if I don't, if somehow, because of the, the, the level of deceit that TJ has led along the way, leaving me off the building, leaving me off the trademark, it, it doesn't matter. I still win. I still win no matter what happens with the company. Because if I lose in court and I lose the company, then that's okay. They have nothing. I start over. It's not a big deal. I start over with way more publicity than I had before. And everybody sees what Hidden Network is doing. Hidden Network is TJ. Let's, let's just be for real about it. Hidden Network is TJ. It was his idea to do all these other shows. I came up with all of the uh, – I came up with the name, and he came up with the idea of it. And they've all been a fucking flop. That guy has never brought in a dollar to this company, and he knows it. And that's why he thought he was going to be replaced. And that is what – all, he's always been protecting himself from getting replaced. And this is, this is basically the uh, coup d'etat that has now occurred where he's trying to do it. But I say, TJ, take it. That's fine. Take it. Take the company. I'm going to fight for it, but they can take it. This is, this is going to about be the most brutal divorce, brutal split you've ever seen in your lives. So there we go. That's all I got, guys. Now I got fired up. All right. See you. Bye. Well, and to, to kind of add to that, you know, even if, even if Ben lets the company go, A, he's the only reason anybody cares. Nobody, nobody knows who Hit Network is. So they're going to lose all their revenue. And on top of it, he's still majority company, like majority shareholder. So they're going to have to pay him off and they're not going to have anything after that. Regarding, um, you know, there were some names dropped in the chat. People were asking about a few specific people. Uh, frankly, at this point, you know, with, with what they've done and what they're doing, I mean, they, they're bribing employees even. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's not even get into that. They're, they're literally bribing employees. One of our employees came to me the other day and said, hey, you know, TJ talked to me and uh, TJ told me everything that's going on and uh, said you were doing cocaine and then he gave me three and a half Ethereum. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. He's literally bribing employees. That's on the freaking blockchain. And he's using company money to do it because we're not supposed to really have personal crypto. That was in our agreement. So that means he's using my money to pay off employees to bring them over to his side. It's, and this is, this is going to come out, and people are going to see this stuff. People are going to see the underhand attack. I got somebody in Pluto Alliance telling me they tried to warn me. People have tried to warn me about Justin. They've tried to warn me about TJ since day one. But at the end of the day, I'm loyal, and I thought these were my friends. I thought that these were my friends, and I thought that I could trust them. And I thought, even though things didn't look the greatest, I was paranoid. I thought I was paranoid. Like, okay, there's no way he's – He's taking me off the building, but he's going to put me back on, and I understand why he did it, and blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, this has been going on forever, and I was loyal. And, and, and unfortunately, that is, uh, that's what led to all this. Um, you know, TJ felt like I was going to push him out of the company, and Justin did too. They both felt like they were going to get pushed out. Um, and, uh, you know, they've been, they've been working some very, very interesting angles, some very, very interesting um, um, uh, optics here. And it's not working. Everybody saw through what they did yesterday. Everybody saw through what they did. Everybody saw it. It's not, it's not something that they're going to be able to, uh, you know, keep being vague about stuff. Like I said, they're saying I relapse because I take diet pills from a weight loss clinic. And if you press them on it, that's what they're going to have to say. They're trying to threaten me. They're trying to hold stuff over my head. And at the end of the day, if they don't know motherfucking Ben Armstrong, then I damn right they're about to find out. Uh, so I'm looking at I'm looking at the comments. Um, crypto cats, dude. Seriously, so, someone so someone in the comments is saying that Ben's speech is slurred. Like, 
dude. I just, I just don't even know how to respond to that. What are you a, talking about? What are, in a professional way. Y'all are so stupid. Like, anybody that thinks that is insane. Go take any video I've ever done and match it against this voice. Guys. The fact that, man, yeah. don't, man, don't worry about it, man. You sound, you, you said it all. You sound amazing. We're with you all Thank the you. way. Yeah, I appreciate that. It, anyway. You sound good, Ben. What about DZ? Well, well, there are some people I don't know about yet. I know, I know Nick DeMondi is in with him. I know Nick DeMondi is a trader. He is in with him for sure. I know Allison, my assistant. Allison, they used Allison to get all kinds of private information from me. She, she literally went to my house. I do steroids, guys. Big shocker. That shouldn't be talking, talking to anybody. Which, by the way, TJ and Justin buy from me. TJ and Justin buy steroids from me, by the way. Just so you all know. Um, I take testosterone. And I take maybe maybe some Dynaball every once in a while. It's not a big deal. I don't even take it all the time. It's like a pre-workout. I, I go to the gym, and I kill it at the gym. And I've been getting big, and it's been good. And they're trying they're trying to spin this around like it's some kind of giant problem. We've got a guy who's been a go-between between us, and even he's like, well, you know, you need. To. They're all doing them. They're all doing them too. It's retarded. Like it's so absolutely asinine, right? So what they did is they sent Allison over to my house to go get some of my uh, some of my steroid pills. Um, my my Armadex, which is an anti estrogen, um, is an anti estrogen inhibitor. Basically, makes it so when you do testosterone, you don't get man boobs. And she went and got those, and then she went and got Armadex. Uh, and she took them back to the office, and they took pictures of them in the office. Like I took them to the office. I, listen how listen how fucked up this is. You want to talk about insane? This this right here will drive the entire plan to to, to the front of your mind. Here's what they did. They go to my house. You know, I need some of the Armadex like a couple days later because I, I take a, a shot of testosterone. And so, <laughs> gosh, I'm not this manly by myself. <laughs> so, anyways, the, the point is, is that I needed to, uh, I needed to take some Armadex and I go to my counter or I go to my bathroom counter or uh, cabinet and they're not there. And I'm like, this is messed up. I think my house cleaner stole them because we've been missing some shirts here and there. And so we think the house cleaner has stolen them is what, is what boils down to. And so what happens is, is I call Allison. I'm like, Allison, what, what in the world is going on here? Um, Allison, <laughs> I got so much stuff on her too. It's blue. I, I'm not ready to throw her completely under the bus and ruin her life, but it, it's on the tips of my fingers. Um, but the fact is, is that Allison says, uh, or uh, I, about the house cleaner, she goes, yeah, well, you know, oh, so you want me to fire her? I'm like, yeah, you have to. I mean, she just stole all this stuff from us. And so then lo and behold, one week later, after the house cleaner has not been around, the house cleaner is gone, what happens on my bathroom counter when I get back from a trip? What sits there? That Armadex and that Dynaball sitting right there on my counter. Guys, I didn't miss that. Now, funny, funny story is the day before I found them, Allison, or two days before them, Allison says, hey, Ben, I really need to go to your house and do something. So she, she goes, uh, she goes and, uh, goes to my house that day and she back, she asked two or three times. I'm like, yeah, I guess you can. Cause I was going to go myself. She's like, yeah, I guess I can. And so when I came back to the house a couple days later, guess what was on the counter? These people are so diabolical with what they're doing. It's literally insane. And so, so Allison is, is definitely with them. <laughs> Um, Frank, I'm not sure about Frank is not contacting me. I mean, look, when these people are not contacting me, when they're not contacting me, I'm taking that as they're on the other team. That's what's happening. I'm taking that like they're on the other team. So DZ has not contacted me. I, I, I suspect DZ knew this was going on and he thought he was going to get to take over the channel. I suspect, but I, but I don't know. I don't know. And, um, you know, as far as I know, I know Nick DeMondi is in the trader group. Um, I'm not sure who else is for a hundred percent outside of those four or five people. So, but it, like I said, if people are not, like I said, I've had five employees reach out. I've had five employees reach out and tell me, and, and tell me they support me. One has already quit. One is in a situation where, or a couple of them are in a situation where they can't quit. So, 